Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this one, I'm going to be answering Rocky's question, and it's a unique one. Um, you want to have your collection lists in, showing up in a unique way or an interesting way. And with collection lists, you can only lay it out in one way, whether it be like rows with one column or multiple columns and multiple rows, but you can't switch it up inside of Webflow without uh, some CSS code. Now first, here's the video question from Rocky. Okay, so maybe with somebody out there can help. So I've got here uh, a grid set up for these blog posts here. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a configuration that's closer to this. So I want it to where featured blog posts will span two columns and regular blog posts will only span uh, uh, one. So I'm curious, does anyone out there know a way of doing this? I've tried like a couple different things and nothing seems to work. So I'm curious if anyone uh, has any ideas. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out how to do this. Okay, so already on the page I have this container, so this is nothing significant. But the significant part is the custom code that I'll be adding to a collection list. So let's go ahead and add our collection list. I'm going to press Command E and type in collection or collect and click that. There we go. I'm going to pull data from a collection that I've made with uh, dummy data. All right. And let's go ahead and each of these things, let's put in a div block. And this div block, let's give it a height of like 250. And let's call this a uh, uh, post photo. Okay. And then element settings, background image, thumbnail image. Okay. So now the image for all of them, let's go ahead and make sure that we can scale these images by going to the background image, setting it to cover, position center, no repeat. Okay. Now all of these uh, collection items needs to be 50% uh, width. Okay. So let's go ahead and use Flexbox instead of grid. So I'm going to go to collection list, set it to Flexbox, and then let the children wrap. Okay. And then for the collection items, for each of the collection items, I'm going to set the basis right here, the three dots of the kebab. And then I can go to basis right here and type in 50%. And there we go. And let's go ahead and add some padding so there's room in between each one. So I'm going to hold shift and drag one side. And there we go. We have some padding on all of them. All right. So the challenge is how do we get this first item to go a full row? And then these two will be 50%. And then this one is going to be um, a full row and so forth. Okay. So it takes some custom code. And here's how I, I figured it out. Okay. So notice how I have this basis as 50%. I'm going to set this to 100% so I can get the code. Okay, so I set that 100%. I'm going to publish my page. And I'm going to find that CSS that's creating that 100%. So I'm going to right click, inspect, and where's that code? Where's the code that's making it 100%? So I'm going to go here. And I found it right here. It's flex 100. All right. If I do flex 50, oops, not that. If I do flex 50, look what happens. Everything goes 50%. All right, so I know the answer is in here because 100 makes it 100%, makes it the whole row. All right, so I'm going to make a note of that CSS by copying it, setting this back to 50% back in Webflow, and now. Let's go ahead and add some custom code. Okay, and since this is just CSS, I can drag in an embed component 
into the canvas and start giving a code of style. And I'm going to do, let's see, it's called collection item two. So collection dash item dash two. And if I paste in that CSS code, save and close, look at that, it's all one row. Now we need to figure out the CSS on how to do it for only the first one. So let's go back to the code. Now I'm going to put in the special code, which I'll post this whole code into the uh, YouTube description below. But yeah, we have nth child and we're doing every third uh, element plus the first one. Okay, so if I do save and close, check it out. It's, it's uh, all one row, but if I do save and close, row, half a row, row, half a row, 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 your boat. Okay, so there you go. There's that special, special thing. Okay. Well, um, but here's the thing. When, when it comes to responsiveness, it's going to keep it. If we go like this, it's still going to keep it. So it's up to you. Um, you may need to do some breakpoints or uh, special uh, query string or media queries for for your code or let's see if we go here for mobile portrait oh yeah we can just easily set everything to 100 percent on mobile portrait and then it looks good we go here we're fine we're fine we're fine so yeah hope this helps okay so yeah it's that one line of code nth child really really cool so if you want to learn more about it there's uh some documentation on css tricks i'll put it in the link in the youtube description and again the code will be in the youtube subscription as well uh hopefully you learned from this let me know what you think about the video in the comments below if you want to support me hit the subscribe button the like and also the notification bell uh, if you want to follow me on twitter it's at the pixel geek that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.